what is going on guys in today's video this is going to be an insane setup video on how to set up smart anti-recoil for beginners now guys i'm a huge fan of smart anti-recoil because you can adjust your anti-recoil exactly how you please now we're going to get straight into it now this is a beginner tutorial so make sure you guys are subscribed so you can watch you know my advanced tutorials that I will drop and i'll be dropping lots of exclusive patreon footage and setups and tutorials so make sure you guys are on the patreon very guys if you want to get the best one-on-one -on -one help best end game settings best setups best spreadsheets all of the above man make sure you check out the patreon down below we're the largest community down over here this is where you can get that one-on-one -on -one experience fast updates all of the above man we're doing a lot of big spreadsheet updates for these updated scripts so make sure you guys check it out man first first tier over here gets you full access to literally everything every single thing i post will get full access if you want one-on-one -on -one help one-on-one -on -one setups, all that stuff, VIPs for you. And if you want a one-time payment, lifetime tiers for you, man. Make sure you check it out, guys. Thank you so much. You can scroll down and see all the posts that we got. Over 260 posts. Very active on here, man. And I'm just back from vacation, so I'm going to be posting a lot, man. Thank you so much for love and support. Take care. Good community over here. Now, as you can see, first things first, I just I literally just jumped in too quick. To use Smart anti vehicle you're going to want to use Zanshaw version 7.1 or Flores Event version 10 or the Warzone gamepad. And what you want to do, guys, for the Zen Shop version 7.1, I will be having to update it. So actually, let me actually fix that. We're going to search up is profile one. Now to open this find slash replace, you're going to do control F. So control find. Now, obviously, guys, we're in the compiler. You should already know this by now. And as you can see, right when you click find next, okay, you'll see anti recoil primary weapon profile one. Now, profile one for primary weapon, this is going to be your assault rifles. So if you're using the Zen shot script or the Florida's Revenge script, as soon as you hold L2 and up D-pad, this will be the first weapon that pops up. Now, as you can see over here, the anti recoil Y, anti recoil X, we can adjust our anti recoil Y and X <clears throat> exactly how we want to the millisecond. As you can see over here, 300 milliseconds. After 300 milliseconds, it'll go to 24. After 800 milliseconds, it'll go to 22. After 1,200 milliseconds, so 1.2 seconds, it'll go to 18 and onwards, okay? So what I like to do, guys, is I honestly, if you're a beginner, I like to keep the time intervals exactly like this, okay? Now, if you're using an assault rifle and you turn on the smart anti recoil L2 and D pad up, and you shoot the weapon and it is shooting up. All you guys are going to do is increase these Y values anti recoil Y. We're going to increase these Y values. Okay. Now you can kind of see while you're shooting the magazine approximately which part of the weapon is actually shooting up or shooting down. So if you believe the beginning of the magazine is shooting straight, and only the end of the magazine is shooting uh, shooting up, then you can increase the values from 1,200 milliseconds or 1,800 milliseconds. You can kind of even just calculate yourself. So you can shoot and see, okay, after 2,000 milliseconds, or after two seconds, it starts to shoot up. So you can increase these values at the end or you increase these values in the middle. Okay, so if you are receiving a custom setup from myself via the uh, VIP section, this is a way that you can actually adjust it. Now, for the horizontal values, I like to keep the horizontal values pretty much how it is. Most of the weapons will work completely fine with this horizontal setup. So you really don't have to adjust this, okay? Now, let me scroll down. We'll see anti vehicle secondary weapon. All the secondaries in Warzone are going to be at around 20 to 25 maximum, okay? And most of the SMGs have a, have a very constant rate of fire, so you actually don't have to adjust it. Okay, so you don't have to, so the value will be pretty much constant throughout the whole magazine. Okay, there might be a couple weapons that you can adjust, but like I said, if the gun is shooting down at the end of the magazine, you can just adjust it over here. Okay, you can kind of count, count the seconds. So these are all milliseconds. So 1,800 milliseconds, 1,200 milliseconds, 2,600 milliseconds, and you can adjust it like that. Okay. So you can shoot it, you know, you can put a timer next to you and be like, oh, okay, after two uh, seconds, it starts to shoot down. So that means at 1,800, over here onward, you can decrease the value. So if the gun is shooting down, you have to decrease the value. If the gun is shooting up, you have to increase the value. Okay, now 
this is pretty much the end of the tutorial. I'm going to leave you guys with some gameplay to show you how insane the anti recoil can look. But guys, we will be dropping lots of advanced tutorials coming soon where I literally get a weapon and I set it up to have zero recoil. So make sure you guys do stay tuned, man. Now, guys, this is also a uh, public knowledge. You know, there are uh, obviously tutorials on the website of Cronus. I hope you understood the power of smart anti recoil. Just seeing the small adjustments that you can do. And we will be dropping advanced tutorials real soon. I just want to show you this slight, you know, adjustment tutorial so that you guys can grab the script and adjust it a little bit yourself. But anyways, man, I hope you enjoyed the gameplay. Take care. I'm gonna go around, I'm gonna go Nice. Oh, I cracked him a couple of times. outside the safe zone.